Welcome to another episode of my Citroen Relay van build series. Uh, it's a dry day today, so it's time to crack on with the van again. Well, uh, when I say dry, it's sort of uh, nearly, nearly dry-ish. But uh, anyway, we're going to be underneath the van today because we are fitting the underslung gas tank. So let's do it. Okay, so let me show you what I've got here. I have got uh, my gas tank from a company called Auto Gas 2000 uh, here in the UK. And I've gone for a 25 litre underslung uh, gas tank there. Uh, it was bright red when I got it, but I've already uh, painted that in a, uh, a protective uh, coating. I uh, went to my local motorist shop and they recommended I get this Tetra seal uh, under, underbody sealant, saying, Oh, that'd be perfect for that because that protects against stone chips and uh, it's nice and uh, dry when it dries off, it doesn't stay sticky. Well, guess what? It's still sticky. Yeah, lovely. Right, anyway, not to worry. So I decided to go with the uh, basic kit that uh, Auto Gas 2000 sell which is this 25 litre gas tank which has the uh, feet uh, on it which you can see there and then in the kit you get uh, these brackets which simply uh, fix to those feet on the bottom of the gas tank and then you bolt it to the uh, underside of your van so this is very much a kit that you need to put in before you finish off your floor uh, because you need to drill holes through the floor and it bolts from the inside um, if you've already finished your floor and this is more of a retrofit, then you need to go for the more deluxe version, which has a different mounting system which will mount to the chassis underneath as opposed to drilling through the floor. But because I'm at the stage where I'm just finishing off my floor, this seemed absolutely perfect. And uh, the kit uh, comes with a gas tank, obviously, the uh, regulator, we have the uh, main fill hose, the uh, pigtail as it's called which goes from the gas tank to the regulator uh, there's some uh, uh, rubber uh, grommets for the for the ends of the, the gas tank there and then further forward here we've got the, uh, the the level meter to go inside the van which is certainly pretty small and, and basic but uh, will do the job that just needs to be connected with a uh, like a push button momentary switch to make that operate uh, we have a bag of various uh, P-clips uh, for underneath. A uh, nice big bag of fixings. And I decided to go with the uh, fill point, which is the one on the outside of the van, which fixes to the, uh, to the sill underneath, uh, which uh, that's the plastic uh, covering for it. That's the actual fill point and a, uh, and a bracket. So how that works when that's put together is that will clip into there like so and uh, fix together and then that will clip to the uh, the sill on the side of the van and uh, then that pipe will connect onto that end there or I might go that way uh, on the, the angled one we'll see when we uh, get underneath and see what it's all about and uh, and then also auto gas uh, supplier a nice little pouch here which has got um, all kinds of various instructions in there on what to do so that's quite uh, quite nice uh, that so that's what you get in the basic kit okay so additionally to the basic kit I've got this 8 mil uh, copper pipe with the reinforced uh, plastic uh, outer sheathing on it and that's going to get me from the regulator which will be uh, underneath the van by the side of the gas tank up into the van and onto the uh, distribution manifold. Also at the front here, um, I saw these on their website and these are, I've got quite a selection here because these are, are as cheap as chips and this is designed to uh, go through the, the, the flooring uh, of, of the van and down through a, a hole and uh, to the outside and it has a little hole which is also sort of expandable so I think the idea here is you can uh, make your hole uh, in the van for, for this pipe to come through and uh, then this goes on the inside and fits onto the, the flooring and then when that pipe is pushed through that comes through uh, there like that and makes a, uh, a nice seal. Um, so I thought they were a good idea and they come in two different, uh, two different depths as you can see 
Uh, that's basically the same again, but a bit shorter. And there's also these, which uh, just basically screw down onto, uh, onto a, a surface, onto the floor. And again, have a rubberized middle bit um, to allow uh, service pipes to come through. And this actually will also take the 12 mil water pipes and this will take uh, the convoluted pipes for the water tank uh, when the time comes. So um, these were, I don't know, 50p a pound each, something like that. So really inexpensive. So that I thought was a good idea. So I got a selection of those. And to finish off, I also got this uh, uh, sort of three set of various adapters for traveling to other countries. And I think probably out of all those, that's going to be the most common one, which is the uh, Spanish one, I believe, is that one. Um, so that was a, is going to be a useful add-on just to keep in the van. Right, that concludes my selection of bits and bobs. Uh, right, let's get underneath and crack on and get this fitted. Okay, so we're underneath the uh, van and I'm just going to do some uh, preparation work here. Well, one thing I forgot to mention in the uh, introduction was I also bought the uh, uh, aluminium uh, protection plate, uh, which is this, uh, this fellow here. And uh, that just simply screws up uh, to the existing holes where the um, silencer mounts are. So that's already in and fitted. Uh, so I got the van up on some uh, some ramps as you can see here and some axle stands in just for some uh, added protection uh, so I can actually get my uh, myself underneath here and uh, so to get your bearings on a uh, Fiat Ducato Citroen Relay I just come here so here's the uh, silencer and then in front of it here we've got the add blue tank and the fuel tank just a little bit further forward so the underslung gas tank fits into this section here behind the exhaust. Uh, so this is one of the reasons why this protection plate here is a good idea. A, to stop stone chips and B, it almost acts like a heat shield as well uh, from the exhaust silencer to the LPG tank. So just need to carry out a few little bits of maintenance first before we actually get this marked and on. So you can see here on the uh, underneath, there's a, a couple of screws protruding through, uh, like this one here. That's where the uh, flooring beams inside have been uh, fixed down. And uh, so what I'm going to do with those, because this is where the gas tank is going to be, um, they're not uh, protruding enough to uh, interfere, but just while I can get at them, I'm just going to use some of this uh, underbody sealant and uh, just spray those to, uh, for a bit of uh, rust protection. Doesn't need to be pretty. There's another one over here. That's it. Uh, there's a bolt in the middle, which uh, uh, is for something else inside, which actually was a bit long, so I had to uh, chop that off a bit. That's why there's a, a piece of bare metal showing on the bottom. So let's just give that a spray. And again, over here, there's another screw there. Like so. Uh, there's just one uh, hole that I need to be uh, wary of and that's this one here because that's going to be where one of the uh, rear seat uh, mountain plates is going to fit. So just need to be conscious of uh, exactly how that's going to lie uh, with the gas tank. So what I'm going to do is uh, put the phone down so I can actually get all the hands on the gas tank and offer it up into this space and see how that's going to play out. And I'll be back to you in just a second. Okay, so I've offered uh, the uh, the gas tank up in here, which was uh, great fun with it uh, lit on my stomach. But uh, anyway, we got there, not a problem. Uh, and I've uh, just uh, offered into position here one of the brackets from the from the seat, just with a little small bolt, just to get an idea of where it's going to sit, so I can play with the orientation there. And uh, actually, my uh, first bracket is going to look at that crap all over the bottom of it. That's that tetrasil stuff. God, bloody horrible stuff. Anyway, not to worry. So that is going to have to go actually up pretty well up the side of it there. So I'm not sure whether you can see on the video, but I managed to get one little uh, one little paint spot on it there using my uh, using my marksman uh, just to tell me which uh, which section it is. 
and now I'm going to offer this up in here a little bit more sensibly where I can hold it and uh, get a proper proper mark on there so I'm just gonna rub those off and I think what I'm gonna do is use this line here of the bodywork at the side of the the chassis as my uh, gauge to make sure it's sitting nice and sort of level to the to the van so that can go on there like so and actually that plate can then kind of sit underneath it almost a little bit like that actually that goes that way around yeah there we go look at that so if i go that way around that plate that bracket sits over the top of it nicely so i can get it into the middle there we go Right, let's grab the old marksman, give that a squirt, plumb middle, give that a squirt, give it a shake, give that a plumb middle, and we're good to go. Right, then we do that the other end, and then I can drill these holes and uh, get these bolts through. Well, that's better to be the right way around again. Not my favorite place to be underneath a van, but at least my driveway's tarmac. I'm not led in the gravel or on the grass and in the shit anyway, and it's dry, so it's not the end of the world. All right, I'm gonna go and get a drill and uh, drill some little uh, pilot holes uh, up from underneath, and then we'll go inside the van and see where they are and uh, see what we've got. All right, let me do that now. Okay, so I've just got a little uh, pilot drill in, a uh, drill bit in my drill there, and, uh, Now because I'm doing this upside down lead on my back, even though I wear glasses, I am going to put some goggles on and um, no I'm not being a wuss, it's just uh, I've been on the receiving end of bits of metal in my eyes before, so uh, um, once bitten twice shy I think is the, uh, the motto there. Alright, let's get these drilled. Okay, so I'm kneeling where my uh, seat frame is going to be. That's that bolt that we saw from underneath. So I've got one hole here. So the other one's going to be up here and the other two are over here. Uh, it's a great shame. My son did a, did a fantastic job of uh, putting all these insulation slabs in and taping them up. And now I've got to take them back out again. But uh, hey ho, never mind. It's uh, better to get this done now before we put our final floor covering on and uh, seal this up. Um, so let's uh, just get on and do it. Okay, so what I've done is I've uh, just sprayed some under seal on these uh, holes. Uh, you can see where I've done other under seal as well, can you? Um, I know it's black against a white band, but it's all going to be hidden underneath the floor. And once the floor's in and down, you're never going to see any of this again. So it really doesn't matter. And then what I'm going to do is these metal plates that are going to go on over there. I'm just going to pop a little bead of uh, this uh, Sikaflex uh, 221 around there just to get a nice uh, waterproof seal around there so no water comes up through that hole. I can think it will because the bolt is going to fit nice and tight anyway, but uh, you know, belt and braces and all that. Okay, so I'm just preparing the uh, tank now for the uh, installation. So I'm putting the brackets back on. And uh, because these have um, a lot of grass over it, will I <laughs> put the under seal on, but it's that in the garden. Um, anyway, uh, because these have a, a nut uh, already sort of welded in uh, under there, um, what I'm going to do is, because uh, I don't want these obviously to shake loose uh, over time, is I'm just going to apply a little bit of uh, thread seal uh, on these threads. Uh, so a popular brand of this is Loctite, although it's basically the same thing. 
uh, just a little bit on these threads uh, to uh, stop those from coming uh, coming loose over time. So let's get that in. And this one. Right, so I'll do the two the other end and then we'll make the uh, the pipe connections to this before I get it under the, the vehicle because I think that would be easier to do with it up at waist height like this than uh, down uh, on my back underneath the van. Right, let's do this. So I've got that bolted up into uh, position now. Um, I have to confess I, I didn't film that because no one really wants to listen to me cussing and swearing for 20 minutes trying to get those uh, bolts on lead uh, flat on my back. But anyway, we're there, we're there. So uh, the cable, uh, the inlet feed, uh, I think I'm going to orientate up the side of the, uh, uh, the, the, the tank there and uh, just through here like this and onto the side of the van on the side of the step there. That seems as good a place as any. And then this uh, step is going to uh, act as a bit of protection to that, uh, that fitting um, with it uh, just sort of after it there, I think. On the inside, in order to do this, seeing these were uh, nylock uh, nuts going on underneath, is uh, because I had all this uh, woodwork in for the uh, flooring already, I just uh, placed a ratchet spanner over the, uh, over the nut there. Uh, went against the, uh, the piece of wood and uh, actually that stayed there uh, quite happily while I uh, tightened it up from underneath so that, uh, that worked quite well. Okay so looking at the orientation of the, uh, of the pipe uh, on the van I want that to be uh, that way round uh, so these are the, the bits so I think this is uh, pretty straightforward uh, not easy to do it one-handed, I know, but anyway. I'll put the others, I'll put the others in, in a second, but you get the idea. So that all goes together like so. And then the fitting on the back is uh, that orientation to match uh, how the pipe is uh, approaching the side of the van. Okay, so I've drilled my two uh, holes there. So I'm just going to apply some uh, hammerite to that. Better not use the old underbody seal here, seeing this is going to be visible. So let's uh, just fill this up nicely with some, some hammerite. Go right in there. Right, so we are on day two of the uh, gas tank build, and I think I'm just about done, apart from one small job. Uh, I've got the, uh, the the floor black in. I haven't actually fixed it down yet, but it's offered into place. And uh, all bar one of the brackets, which you can see there, uh, are now underneath the floor. That's all good. And uh, in my corner over here, I have... Uh, my uh, gas pipe coming up and my electrical cable for the uh, uh, LED uh, meter gauge and uh, that will be in the, the kitchen area somewhere which is going to be here I haven't quite decided yet so we'll just extend that accordingly uh, when the time comes and I've just got a little rubber uh, grommet in there right let me crawl underneath and I'll show you what I did Okay, so just to get our bearings, is the uh, gas tank in front of me here, and that is uh, facing the, the front of the vehicle, and the exhaust pipe is just the other side of the, uh, the heat shield there. So that's where I've uh, placed it. And uh, in here, The bit that's missing is the uh, is the, the the sender unit to go in there. Um, Auto gas were out of stock of that when they sent the rest to me, 
uh, but that should be simple enough to fit afterwards and there's the other end of my uh, cable there ready to connect to that and uh, so my gas in is this side and my outlet is this side and let me show you how it all connects oh, i'll leave that off right okay so the uh, gas inlet first of all so we do uh, a, a nice sort of gentle loop up round and it goes up underneath here there's a, a p-clip uh, under there to secure and it works its way through and to the side mounted vent uh, side mounted inlet um, over there and I've got another p-clip here on the chassis to uh, to hold that up so the whole thing is sort of nicely up out the way and nothing drooping down uh, below the level of the gas tank and the uh, the outlet to the regulator uh, comes out here just basically does a big sort of loop-de-loop loop-de-loop -loop, uh, -loop up inside and then comes into the regulator here which I fixed up to the uh, chassis here so again this is on the uh, the back side of the gas tank um, so that is kind of protected from by the uh, the gas tank here which is protected by the heat shield so in theory I don't think anything should hit or knock this and again with this yellow pipe I've just allowed it to do a nice little gentle bend up under there and I've zip tied it to the uh, the black inlet uh, up underneath there just to uh, hold it it didn't really need that zip tie it was quite happy sat there of its own, uh, own, own accord uh, but just for belt and braces we've got a, a zip tie on that so that's the inlet and outlet from the uh, gas tank now let's follow the pipe from the regulator so i've used eight mil um, pipe with the uh, plastic uh, house uh, sort of shroud on it and uh, oh incidentally in this uh, connection here I have used some uh, Fernox um, uh, in there as well and just uh, time that sort of uh, you know just pinch tight uh, so that should do fine and the gas pipe runs its way down to the outside or near the outside and what I've done here is I've run it down the uh, the inside of the uh, the sill lip here so it's fixed on uh, P clips up into the, uh, the, the sill at the side here. And we run down the side in behind the sill um, towards the back. Let me just relocate myself. Okay, so here it is here with the, uh, the sender cable um, as well, P clipped uh, up the side of it. Um, so we come along here and uh, up through the, uh, the, the the van right in the corner there uh, which is at the side of the wheel arch and uh, where the rubber um, sort of grommet sticks through um, I've splodged loads and loads of Sikaflex around uh, around there to uh, stop any water getting up through that hole and uh, you might notice this inline uh, compression joint there um, uh, I, I'm, I don't mind admitting my cock-ups, uh, you know, no, nobody's perfect. And uh, this bend here, uh, I do actually have a pipe bender, and that's what I used to bend that. But uh, I tried to be clever and do it in situ under here, underneath the van. And what I ended up with was, uh, was that. Oh dear, that didn't, uh, that didn't go terribly well at all. So a uh, bit of cussing and swearing, and then uh, have to chop that bit out, make the bend first, and then uh, connect the two together with, uh, with an inline uh, compression joint there. And again, I got some Fernox uh, paste in, uh, in both sides of that. So that should be fine. Um, I am going to uh, sort of house that and, uh, and cover that, uh, uh, but I won't do that until I've actually done a pressure test, just in case I need to uh, knit that up at all. Now, uh, one of the main reasons why I've decided to uh, take the scenic route here of coming uh, out this way and uh, along the sill is uh, because I've still got my water tanks to uh, to fit and they are going to be sitting under 
under here one this side of the handbrake cable and one the other side and uh, they haven't actually even arrived yet they're still on order so until they come um, I was reluctant to run this gas pipe all up through the middle here and then find it was going to be in the way so uh, decided to uh, take uh, take the route uh, towards the edge of the van and uh, come down the side of the sill out of the way and then what I've done uh, all the way around is I've used uh, p-clips on the uh, the gas pipe and a p-clip on the uh, on the uh, sender cable and the two run side by side this tape was just to hold it together while I put the p-clips in and then on this bend where I uh, couldn't uh, clip it satisfactorily I've just put a zip tie in there just to uh, hold one to the other and then there's more p-clips just around here actually from over here we've got a good angle of the uh, heat shield as well so if I just uh, pull the camera around underneath there's the exhaust this is the uh, heat shield and stone guard that um, Autogas 2000 will uh, will supply and that just simply bolts up into the uh, the same uh, mounting holes that the exhaust connects into up under there so that was uh, dead easy to fit as well